Hey, what's up, YouTube? This video is going to go on the prepping playlist, some disturbing information. A new study has recently been made public that revealed that the lockdowns compromised national security and military readiness. Uh, we basically took 10,000 casualties without a shot being fired. Uh, this study was conducted by the uh, Center for Health Services Research based in Maryland. What they did was they took the, the military uh, medical records of people in the army from before the pandemic, before the lockdowns, and then they compared them uh, to that period during the lockdowns. And so this study found that 27% of the soldiers who were healthy before the pandemic actually became overweight, and 16% who were already overweight were actually pushed over into full medical obesity. Okay, so they went from just chubby to like really having a medical condition, right? So in total, 10,000 active duty uh, soldiers developed obesity uh, during that period that was studied. 10,000, okay? I mean, that's like a war, man. And they said that obesity-related health costs exceeded $1.5 billion. $1.5 billion, man. How many tanks could we have bought? How many elite snipers could we have trained with, you know, uh, $1.5 billion? And they also found that three quarters of Americans, 17 to 24, are not eligible for military service. Okay, and the biggest reason was the obesity. So what this means is that if the Korean War heats up again and we need to have a draft, three quarters or more of the population that you would draft are not even fit to fight. So if like a million Chinamen come across that border, we won't even have enough troops. We'll have to use nukes and I guess hope that they don't use uh, their nukes. Well, I mean, you know, with national security starting to be impacted, I mean... This isn't fun and games anymore. This isn't, oh, ha ha, you know, we, we all got DoorDash, ha ha. So who is to blame for all this? Well, there's a lot of blame to go around. First of all, the political leaders are the ones that dreamt up the uh, lockdowns to begin with. But when you have a breakdown of discipline in a military unit, that's the fault of that unit's leaders as well. Even though the, the leaders didn't force you to eat donuts and shit, they certainly could have instituted higher standards or punishments to discourage you right, from throwing your health away. But the leaders are reluctant to impose harsh standards on the troops because what if the troops just quit and become civilians again? Or what if they don't re-up? We're having a recruiting crisis because we have a perpetual warfare foreign policy where we send troops to every Tantooine and every freaking crap hole and sandbox we can find that nobody really cares about, just some company wants something there. Not to mention, I've heard that a lot of training has been watered down to make room for, like, sensitivity classes and other ridiculous political stunts that have nothing to do with physical fitness. Man, at this point, man, we're playing these games. We get what we deserve. We get what we deserve. 